When you have a Zoom meeting with students, it's a good idea to record that session. For one thing, you will have a recording that you can go back and analyze after the fact. In addition, you have a recording that you can share with the students that were in the session, but most importantly, you have a recording that you can share with the students that didn't get to attend the session live. And this recording can be shared very easily through your Google Classroom. So, when you get into the session, it's super important to remember to hit record as soon as you get in the session. Otherwise, it's very easy to forget. So, to record the session, just very easily go down to the bottom of the screen, and the record button is right beside the share screen button. Click record, and it starts recording right away. When you're ready to end the class, you click end meeting, end the meeting for all, and it says the recorded file will be converted to mp4 when the meeting ends, and that meeting was very, very short, so it happened very, very quickly. You can see that it gives you a file immediately, and the audio only is there, and then you have the uh, mp4 that's the actual video as well. And so this video is what you're going to share with your students. I suggest as soon as it's done converting, now don't expect it to happen that quickly. <laughs> that was a very short video. I suggest renaming it right then. So Zoom meeting and I would put the date or something to let yourself know what it is that you just did. So I'm going to say Zoom meeting sample for that one. Now the easiest way to add that to your Google Classroom is to place it in your Google Drive. To do that, you're going to open up Google Chrome, go into your drive, and then you can click, I'm going to go into my drive, you can click New, File Upload, and then it's going to give me options. I'm going to choose Desktop because I know that's where the file is sitting. And Zoom makes me a file. Here's with the date. I'm going to open it, and there it is, Zoom Meeting Sample. And I can click it, and it's going to start the upload. And there it is, sitting in my Google Drive. Alternately, and some may find this easier, there's my file sitting right there. You can take and just drag and drop into your Google Drive. I like that method as well because it's really fast. Now, it's noticing that I put two of the same thing in there, so I'm just going to delete those. Now that I have it in my Google Drive, I can attach it to a Google Classroom. To do that, I'm going to click on my Google Waffle, open up my Google Classroom, and open up a classroom. share this one on the stream. So I'm going to share and I'm going to say this was Zoom meeting sample and I'm going to click add from our Google Drive and recent is the one that's clicked by default so it should be the first thing that pops up and there it is. I click it and click insert and then I can post. Now my Zoom meeting is here for any of my students to go and look at.